Hello everyone, I'm David Carwell, and uh, this is Dr. Bud Kennedy uh, from Arkansas State University, and we're standing in our alfalfa field in Northeast Arkansas. Uh, this is a project that we're doing in collaboration with the University of Arkansas Extension Service, as well as Arkansas State. And so, uh, Dr. John Jennings came to me with the idea of, this is an old row crop field, and it has uh, severe uh, pigweed issues. And so they were looking at an alternative crop uh, that you could grow uh, that can maybe help eliminate pigweeds. We have extreme resistance here in this part of the country. And so by putting on a perennial crop that comes up, it's actually cool season that can shade the ground out is the theory uh, that we can shade the pigweeds out before they start to germinate. Uh, you can see now this is right at the end of April, uh, the height on the alfalfa that we had, this was planted approximately a year ago. Uh, not ideal to plant in the spring, but that's when we came about doing it. Uh, last year, we didn't get nothing off of it. This year, we're going to get a crop of it, at least off the first cutting. And so, uh, what we're going to use it for is going to be this first time we'll be making haylage and putting it in a silo bag and then making dry hay uh, every time after that to feed our sheep herd, background our calves, and also uh, to feed our goats. But uh, so one thing, I guess, Dr. Kenny, people have questions. People think, well, in Arkansas, we may, we're not known for alfalfa, period. I mean, we're just right. not. And so this looks pretty good now, but what would you say to the person who thought maybe they would want to try it, you think? I mean, I know soil conditions can vary. We're on a hill. You can see yeah. this kind of goes down. Uh, we plant it. Drainage is very important, and soil type, too, would be very important. But why would somebody want to do this, you know, over Bermuda grass, you think? Well, I think they, they might be looking for an altern alternative forage uh, that's very high quality uh, that might supplement some of their uh, their diets, particularly for animals that are uh, high to have high nutrient requirements, uh, growing animals, lactating animals. So it could be used as a protein supplement. Hay, grass hay is a similar maturity. Alfalfa, it's, uh, alfalfa is going to be uh, higher in protein, higher in uh, TDN. And, uh, and another thing is, thing about alfalfa, you're going to go, you're going to like calcium. So you might, if you're mixing these uh, alfalfa, let's say if you're using it in a, in a, in a ration, uh, you want to make sure you're formulating that ration that's balanced. Uh, but, uh, you know, so the first thing, uh, if somebody's looking to do this, I, I'd say that they need to. Consult with the, um, you know, the county extension service. Uh, look at publications that are out on alfalfa, and like you said, it needs a well-drained soil. Uh, soil type could have a factor, play a factor, and then you're looking at uh, potential uh, problems with weed pressure and uh, some uh, insect pressure, possibly. But uh, so following guidelines uh, set for the, at, you know, the University of Arkansas uh, uh, Cooperative Extension Service. Uh, and, you know, talking with David, and, and David's got some uh, one year under his belt now. Uh, to me, it looks, I was out here last year uh, when they were first establishing it, it looks so good. Uh, and then I'm back about a year later and it looks great. So uh, With this, we can make haylage, we can make baleage, which is Bermuda grass. We're not going to do that. We're going to make dry hay. So we have some alternatives to doing that. Uh, we do put out potash with this. With this we use a lot of potash. Uh, and then we put out some boron too, which is not typically what most farmers in the hay world uh, would do. As far as insects, you can look, we've actually sprayed at one time this year already. Uh, we had some insect pressure. Uh, the, these leaves, again, are very, very susceptible uh, to bugs wanting to eat them. I mean, this is just about as good as you can get as far as quality. The insects that we're spraying uh, are very easily killed and it's very cheap, except it can be done. You have to do it regularly depending on the year uh, it can seem more of a hassle but to be honest it's, it's pretty cheap to do it uh, cost per acre for the value that you're getting off of it wipes it out completely and so uh, we had to spray it several times last year uh, and not even get anything off of it but again the stand that we have to show for it is everything you have to start with the stand what would you say that really good quality Bermuda grass would run protein wise. I mean, and most people don't even have hybrid planted. I mean, we're talking, you know, yeah, well, I mean, or nitrogen fertilization, of course, but uh, I mean, 
uh, you know, you're looking up uh, good quality, 12%, higher than 15%. Uh, that's got okay. some pretty good, uh, you know, some fertilization and some sure. well-managed pastures. So. I'll tell you this, <laughs> what we just baled, and you can see these old bales, we literally had to just clip this to get it reset and get back and yeah. forth. I was, that was 14% without anything being done to it, and it was not. You're talking about your the, the, the alfalfa, alfalfa hay, we yeah. bailed a few bales off of it. We didn't feed it, but we did send a sample in, and it was 14%. I mean, and he's talking about spending a lot of money on fertilization with Bermuda grass and getting 12 to 14 yeah. being high quality. Uh, we're hoping to be in the low 20s, I would hope. Probably 19 to 21, I'd 22. Say so. stages in, yeah. Yep, we're in right a good there. stage. Yeah. So something to keep in mind that people, this is your indicator for for wanting to cut, this is actually the bloom that you'll see on your alfalfa. Uh, you can see here, these are the buds right here that are going to turn into flowers. They like to, a general rule is about 10% of the field bloom. This year, granted dry weather, depending on, you may have to go one way or the other. But uh, as you bloom, tonnage will go up, but just like everything else, that's the maturity of the plant. We know that quality is going to decrease. So we don't want to wait for all these pretty flowers to be out here. We want to see a percentage of those. And you have to take an average. I mean, there's places where there's more, and there's places where there's none. Oh, I, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm real impressed with it. Since uh, looking at it last year, uh, I think it's if you got the right soil types, you got the right conditions, and you got a set of animals that you've uh, you need to feed that has a higher requirement for um, for protein and, and, and energy. Um, this is an alternative, and like you said, it can be established uh, fairly uh, easily with uh, you know economically and uh, we just not know, having to we add. no till drilled this in. I mean that's yeah. all we did. So, uh, one thing you have to start with fertility on the front end. You cannot plant this and try to go backwards. <laughs> Uh, we were fairly lucky that we had a pretty good, and, and that's why we picked this spot too, based on these other ones. The fertility was a little bit better here. Uh, zinc is very important as a micronutrient. Micronutrients are more important on alfalfa than any of the other ones. And so I'm not a soil chemist or anything by no means, <laughs> but they're more important than just saying, we've got low potash, we've got low potassium, you know, uh, phosphorus. You have to go to those other ones, and that's where you need to talk to a specialist. Uh, we've got some other areas I'd love to do this with, but I'm going to tell you one thing. They're not in a situation where the fertility is even near correct to even start the planting. So that soil has to be kind of ready uh, somewhere. It's probably a different learning curve for alfalfa than grass. You know, most people are used to you know, planting Certainly. grass and root of grass, so that's something you need to think about uh, if you're thinking about establishing alfalfa. Well, we'll see how it goes. We appreciate everybody uh, yep. watching our video. We're going to do half the field today just to make sure everything runs right, and then we'll do the other half later. Thank you. Thank you.